So another top 10 list. So if you've watched my channel enough, you know what you're getting yourself into. This isn't going to be some structured thing. There's not going to be clips. There's not going to be any of that shit. And there will be some asshole in the comments. Oh my God, he doesn't start getting to the list until... If you're that guy, fuck you. A. B. Press your dislike. Share the video with your friends so you can all dislike. And then you can all go fuck yourselves. Okay? So there you go. Or don't watch. I don't care. Fuck you. I'll babble all I want. And if you don't like it, move on to something else and get a fucking life. Anyways, so... We, I just got a comment. I've gotten a few comments like that in a row recently. Oh, the guy doesn't get to the list until... I don't know why they talk like that in my mind, but they do. And I'm just like, oh my God, what is it that you want? You don't want a guy to actually talk about his opinion? Isn't that the point? Isn't that what you're watching for? I don't know what you guys are watching for, but that's that's what I watch for. Anyway, so... Number one, now the criteria for this was not technical goofs. I could get into technical goofs within the series all damn day. Yes, I've noticed a lot of them. Have I noticed all of them? Probably not, but I've noticed a lot over the years. I've noticed the, the windshield has been replaced on the side that he broke with the nurse and when he's following Tommy Doyle, it's back all of a sudden and the, you know, the... Wallace house not having a freaking room on that side of the house when they look at it from the front door and you know people in reflections of glass I not those kinds of goofs but just goofs that I can't look past every time I watch the movies anytime I watch one of these movies and I'm just like <laughs> why what the fuck are they thinking there okay so um Number one, and this has always been my biggest one. I've told this story. I've, I've, I've mentioned this many times on the channel. Quick style, the hardware store thing. It drives me nuts. So Michael clearly breaks in around 7 something in the morning. And Lee Brackett and his squad don't turn off the alarm or get there until past 6 o'clock at night. Neither one of those times is debatable. He for sure has the masks around 7 something in the morning. And they for sure did not get to the hardware store until after six o'clock. Makes no sense, it drives me nuts every single time. It's such a horrible flaw in the writing, but there you go, that, that one makes me laugh every single time. All right, next up in Halloween 4, when the dude is writing out Michael's name on the typewriter, Michael M. Myers. It's Michael Audrey Myers. His middle name does not start with an M. It drives me nuts. Every single time. I don't know how you goof stuff up like that, but you know, they were on a tight budget or a tight schedule, right? So there you go. Um, next one, same movie, Halloween 4. Jamie Lloyd sees the ambulance outside of her house and Michael's new mask that he just got after this sequence. So she knew it was an ambulance. And she saw that mask specifically in her dream. How? How is that possible? They're not psychically linked by this point. So how could she have envisioned the ambulance and that new mask that he doesn't even possess yet? There you go. And furthermore, when she goes to the hardware store and he does get the mask, she's scared off. And Rachel's like, are you okay? And Grady comes out and, and, and Kelly Meeker and all of them and, and uh, Tommy, Tommy Doyle um, and Wade, fuck off Wade. Uh, they come out and so she gets up and she's like, she'll be okay. And they walk out, her and Lindsay and, and Tom, they all walk out of, the, out of the drugstore without the costume. But then she has the costume. How'd she get the costume? Did they, like, did the scene cut and then they go, oh, wait, we actually need that costume. <laughs> so, I don't know. Anyway, uh, all right, in four, yet again. So, when uh, Michael is going through Jamie's house, he picks up a picture from inside. Or is it Jamie? Somebody's looking. I think, I think Jamie's looking at the picture or Michael looks at the picture. One of, I think maybe both of them do, but it is clearly the shot of Laurie Strode sitting 
on that stoop with the pumpkin that was in Halloween 1978 when she was waiting for Annie. Nobody took that picture. That picture is impossible. Don't you fucking dare try to argue that that picture could have been taken. It couldn't have, and it pisses me off every time I see it. I'm like, did someone just run by and take a snapshot of her that we missed? Did Annie pull up and take a quick snap that we didn't see? That picture shouldn't exist. It shouldn't exist. And why? Why that picture? Why that picture? Of all the shit they could have used, why a picture we know as fans couldn't possibly exist? Why? <sighs> all right, next up in Halloween 5, the Myers house. Why? Why would you make it look like that? Why? Come on, man. If you can't, if you can't, use the actual house because yes they moved the house blah 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 i don't know if they'd moved the house by 89 or not had they moved the house to the train tracks by that point where it still sits to this day i don't know but regardless even if you couldn't get a permit to film there anything you could have got a house that looked similar you could have redone the front so this house looks nothing like the myers house in every other film in this franchise the myers house looks at least somewhat like the Myers house or just outright is the Myers house. I mean, fuck dude, even in Halloween resurrection, the biggest piece of shit that's ever been made. Okay. That's not true. It's not the worst movie ever made. That's death house, but one of the worst movies, but easily the worst in the franchise. I mean, 10 times over the worst in the franchise that movie rebuilt the Myers house on a sound stage completely. Halloween resurrection. When you have something in you that, that's, that you're worse than Halloween Resurrection, you have a serious issue. Why they chose that house, I'll never understand. Such a dumb idea. Such a dumb decision. Back to Halloween 4. I guess most of my problems are, are in Halloween 4. Why did they use the original mask on the poster? Why? Why did they do that? That is, such, that is so misleading. That is so misleading. And why not just use the original mask or something that looks exactly like it? The odds of him finding a mask like that in Haddonfield are already low enough. But why not use the mask? That, nor here nor there, why use that mask on the poster? Because you know why? You want to know why? Probably because they commissioned that poster before they even shot the movie and they agreed on a mask. Doesn't matter. Whatever. And they even use poster art from like that on the poster of Halloween 5. They just took it and they cropped it and they put like a knife and Jamie there. Fucking the people. Ugh. But anyway, it's a great poster. It's a great poster. And I love Halloween 4, man. I absolutely love it. But the decision to put the real, the Myers mask from the original on the poster, why? Because, and as I said, you want to know why? You know why. Because they knew the mask from 4 looked like shit. And they were like, we can't put that on the poster. They probably tried and they were like, oh, no, no one will go to this movie if they see that mask. Why'd they choose that mask? It's not a good mask. All right, anyway. Uh, back to Halloween 5. No burns on Michael's face when he takes off his mask and he cries. Bar, poor Michael and his long hair. Why does he have long hair? Why does he have long hair? He was burning he, we saw his mask burning to his face. He would not have hair follicles. His hair, why would he have hair? And why is, when they get a close-up in his eyes, he's like been moisturizing, man. This guy has like no crow's feet. He's been like hitting the, like right in the corner so that he eliminates like, like freaking Patrick Wilson and in Insidious when he, when he pops it right here in the corners to make sure that he keeps young forever. What were they doing him to the ho in the hospital in Halloween freaking 4, man? And furthermore, to move on to my next in Halloween 5, the 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 freaking whatever this guy is, he's not homeless because he has a home. He's like a freaking... Uh, I don't even know what to call the guy that takes care of Michael. A dr he's not a drifter. I don't know what to call this guy. But... yeah. What the what was that? What was that decision in Halloween four to five? So Michael's gonna pass out 
in a guy's house and then that guy is just going to throw him up on a table in his house for a year. For a year. I'm I'm still so lost on that decision. What what was going on during that year? So they were just outside of town, okay? So in Halloween 4, they're driving. They're just outside of town. They hit up with the um, state troopers. Mike crawls down into this west shaft. They throw dynamite down in there. Instead of going and finding his body and trying, they just blow up the area. Really, that's how they handle it? They throw dynamite down there and they go, he's dead. Come on, anyway. Moving on. But crawls out. And he goes, and this guy finds him, and he finds <laughs> him. Okay, what did he do? Did he feed him? He, st- he took off his mask. He took off his mask. So there, there, would be, there would be news reports all over the place. I don't know if this guy ever leaves this area. So I guess he's a recluse. He never leaves the house. Okay, fine. He's a fisherman. He, he does his own thing. But he takes care of Michael? Does He feeds him? And he, what, changes his pants? He wipes his ass? Does Michael shit? Did, did the guy wonder how this guy was still breathing and living one year later having not eat, eaten? But he does eat. We know he eats dogs. So he fed him and he, he, he shit and the guy cleaned his ass and everything. And then when Michael wakes up, he kills the guy instantly? That is such piss poor writing that is such a like that's a slap in the face to people in my opinion it's like some fucking like random dude some hobo he's he's not a hobo I don't know what the hell to call this guy but this dude just takes him into his house while he's in like a coma and just takes care of please someone explain to me what they were thinking when they wrote that why couldn't he have just been out there why did some guy have to be there to explain it away? Why? Why couldn't Michael have just gotten up and gone to Jamie right then thereafter that same night, like Halloween 1 to 2? Like, why did it have to be a year later? Like, I don't get it, man. I just, I don't get it. Because he could have had the psychic connection, right? And then he could have found where she lived and he could have went out there. He could have found someone on the road, taken a state trooper's car, driven it out there. And then the night would have continued and Jamie would have just freaking killed her. And she would have been, they would have been trying to figure out what was going on with her and they're trying to protect her, but she's trying to kill them while they're trying to fight Michael outside. And that would have been badass. Imagine crazy freaking little Jamie Lloyd trying to kill people with Michael trying to kill people, but he's actually trying to kill her. And you got Rachel and Loomis trying to, you know, figure out what they need to do. Should they kill her? Loomis tried to kill her before. There would have been such cool shit going on there. Anyways, that's nor here nor there. But the decision to have this guy take care of him is one of the goofiest, stupidest things. I should have put that in my mistakes, but... This is a goof to me. This is a complete, it's not a continuity error, I guess, but it kind of is to me because it makes no sense at all. Zero sense. All right, moving on. All right. Um, And um, another thing in Halloween 5 and in Halloween 7, but in Halloween 5, they arrest Michael Myers. And he's in prison. After he was knocked out, mind you. Because they shot him with a bunch of trank darts. And they put him in handcuffs and everything. And they put him in his jail cell. With his mask still on. With his mask still on. They wouldn't have taken his mask off. Really? In in Halloween H2O. They wouldn't have taken the mask off the dead body. They would have put him in a body bag without taking his fucking mask off. Come on, man. (laughs) All right. Uh, Next one. We've got the... um, the, One really funny thing. It's a a goo... I don't know. But, okay, no, this is it. This is a stupid decision. But, A, 
the white haired mask in Halloween 4. I know it's a goof, so that one doesn't really count, but the CG mask in H2O. What were they thinking? And the multiple masks used in 7. Why did they change the mask so many times? They had the big eyes and anyone, I've seen someone who rated the masks and they put H2O's mask as number one. The bug-eyed mask. Ooh, my Michael Myers and I'm coming to get ya. That mask is your favorite mask? Wow, really? Really? Bug-eyes Michael. I can see you! <laughs> that fucking mask is terrible! And all the masks, the CG mask, the big eyes mask, the, the like big eyebrow mask, they've changed it multiple times in the movie. That's terrible. Anyways, okay, another one in H2O. Showing Scream 2 on the television. I get it, they're kind of paying homage to their roots there because H2O, like... Halloween spawned Scream. Scream influenced Halloween H2O. It's like a cycle, yes? Okay. <laughs> Except for the problem is in Scream 1, they talk about Halloween throughout the entire film. So Scream 2 exists in the universe of Halloween, but Halloween exists in the universe of Scream. I mean, these geniuses that write this shit, they don't even care. They don't even think. They're just like, no, that'll be funny. You don't even think about the continuity errors. You don't think about anything. You just don't give a shit. You don't give a shit. That's what I feel like when I watch H2. I feel like a bunch of people got together and were like, fuck the Halloween franchise. Fuck it. We're going to ignore 4 through 6. We're going to... I hate H2O. I fucking hate H2O. All right, I think that's everything. I think that was all 10. Um, I mean, I could have pointed out goofs, as I said, Michael Myers, age 23 in the credits, seven shots instead of six. There's tons of them. I've seen almost all of them. I, I'd be curious on which ones I've missed, but man, I've seen a lot of goofs. So what are your guys' uh, kind of continuity errors, goofs? Uh, I'd like to know your list. And uh, that was fun. Uh, I complained a lot and I cursed a lot and... Uh, I told people to go fuck themselves and I had a good time. I can see you.